In this video, we're going to look at translating a two-sided label. So this is part one in which we're going to create the translations and reference them. In part two, we're going to see what we do within an eForms project to actually see the translations on a, on a label. So let's get going here. We have the eForms translation file editor open. To open the eForms translation file editor, you would go to your Minisoft eForms 6 folder on your local machine, and you would open the translation table editor executable. And you just click that twice, and you'll have this opened up. You can create rows and columns. Columns are what are called dictionaries and you would add rows to columns. So let's go ahead and create a new column first. And I want to translate this, uh, translate English labels into French. So English is going to be my base dictionary, and French is going to be my new dictionary. So I'll just select OK. And you'll see it automatically creates a base for you. So automatically it's going to create a base dictionary that is going to be what's being translated. And then it's going to have the new dictionary you created. So to this, I'm going to add a row just by selecting new row here at the bottom. And I can add things here. So let's say I want to add um, packing slip. Actually, I'm going to add it in all caps here. It is case sensitive. And then if I just tab over, I can add it in French. And my spelling is probably going to be off, but I'm going to try it anyway. I believe that's what it is in French, or something like it. And anyway, you can add the values that you want to match up. And that's just a basic way of doing that. I've already filled out a full file, so if I go to Open, and of course you can save this file by selecting Save As, and it's going to save it with the... Uh, I would recommend saving it with an XML uh, at the end. So if we go to... Let's go to Projects and translate it to see if you wanted to save this let's call it sample and I would add an XML to it just in case you wanted to maybe edit it in a different editor besides the translation file editor if you save it as an XML file you can edit it um, in notepad plus plus or something like that and save it so you got that now I'm gonna open one up that I made and if I just select open here I made this one a little bit earlier and I called it dictionaries.xml. I'm going to open that up. And there it is. And so I did it actually in, I had both French and English, uh, and of course Spanish. And this is my English as the base, and then French and Spanish are what it's being translated to. So these are taking labels that are going to be found in my packing slip project and translating them into different languages. And so here's the important part. What it's looking, what this dictionary name is, and you can change it by right clicking, what it's looking for um, in your data file is it's looking, it's going to look for that dictionary name. So if you have in your data file a country code, like FR or ES or something like that, that would be what you would put for your dictionary name. That has to match up with your country code. And also, it's case sensitive, so whatever it is you place here in your base, it has to match up exactly with what is going to be found in your project. And we're going to look at that in a moment. So we have our translation table. Uh, the only thing left before we dive into the project is we want to uh, do something in our eForms config user file. So we have open here our eForms config user XML file. You can open this by going to the Minisoft eForm 6 folder, the same folder that the translation table editor executable is in. And you can open it up in, in any uh, editor, Notepad, Notepad++, Dreamweaver, whatever it is you use to uh, edit files. And what you want to do is in between the eForms configuration tag here, you're going to want to add this declaration. Translator name equals, and then this is an arbitrary name. I'm calling it invoice provider. You can call it uh, whatever it is that you would like. The class is right here com.minisoft.efz capital U T I L S dot XML file translation provider just like that and then the file name is wherever it is on your machine that your dictionaries file is so 
I, again, am using dictionaries.xml, which I created earlier. You could also, you know, use the, I could use the sample.xml that I did the, you know, one column, one row to. Um, and it would just have to match up wherever it is on my machine. So once you have that declaration placed, make sure you save it uh, in the eForms config user. And once you've got that, you can then open up your eForms composer um, to the project and you can start adding in the labels that you want and then translating them. And we're going to go through that in the second part uh, of this two-part series.